Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm Lisa Charlwood Green from the WOW Network, Women Out Work. We exist to support, guide and connect with LGBT women in the workplace. I'm joined today by one of our members, one of our volunteers as well, Sarah. How are you, Sarah? I'm doing okay, thank you very much. Um, especially with the way everything's going at the moment, it's a lot bit crazy, but I'm doing fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Um, so today we're here to um, just have a chat about our um, coming out journeys in the workplace. Um, so I suppose I've known you for um, you know a few years now, but can you tell me a bit about how it was when you first started work? Um, so when I first started work, we're, we're talking several decades ago. And <laughs> somebody coming out, especially as trans, just didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So I was very much um, in, in that, that closet, uh, if you wish, um, hidden away and not even speaking to anybody about it. Um, what about yourself um, in those early years? Were, were you out quite quickly at work or were you the same as myself? So, well, I came out um, in my early 20s, um, which is almost 20 years ago now. Um, and yeah, I mean, I came out fairly quickly at work. Um, it took me quite a while to come out to myself, if you like, um, you know, from, from my sort of initial sort of first sort of thoughts to, to actually realising, yes, I do like women, that's who I want to be with and so on and so forth. Um, and so I think once, I'd, once I was comfortable within my own skin and, and, I, and I was sort of coming out to my friends, then for me it made sense to come out to my workmates. I... Um, worked in, in a really small organisation at the time, it was like less than 20 people. Um, so I didn't tell everyone, um, I just, you know, people that I, I got on well with. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, 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 it was all right. It was, yeah, it was, it was fine. Um, but because we didn't have like an HR department or, you know, anything like that, you didn't necessarily feel that protected if that makes sense. Whereas obviously in a larger organisation, you know, there's, there's more sort of structure in place for if, you know, things go wrong, if you like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think, I guess, um, you know, looking back from, from 20 years ago, mm -hmm. if there'd been an HR department, how much protection would you have got from, you know, banter or, or, or whatever? Whereas now that, that's something I think we, we probably would get protected from with that. Yeah, definitely. I think workplaces, I've certainly noticed through the years, I've, I've worked in some fairly conservative, like larger organisations, and I think workplace banter, banter, um, you know, it can be really cruel and, and very hurtful as well. And, you know, even sort of comments that maybe are meant to be well-meaning, you know, are not particularly pleasant at times. So um, I think, you know, I think we need more than just HR, definitely. Um, I know, for example, that, that, you know, you've been involved in a couple of um, like staff networks. Uh, what was it like with your, your first staff network that you joined? Well, the job previous to the one I'm in just now um, was a large multinational company. And um, one of the other locations had a, created a, a pride network. Mm -hmm. And somebody in, in the Glasgow office was like, you know, that'd be a really good idea. Sit in mean, like all the staff in Glasgow. And um, I was like, yay, jump on that. <laughs> Absolutely. We can make a difference here. And, and I still wasn't out at that point. And um, so um, I guess some of my colleagues were like, why, why joining a, an LGBT? And it's like, well, you know, at that point, I pretended to be an ally, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, but it's not pretend because to me you're an ally even if you're in the LGBT because you, you're an ally to all the other members. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like I don't consider myself under and, and so I still want to be an ally to those people. And so I wasn't pretending but it definitely was. And, and from there um, we went to Pride in Glasgow. So that was my first ever Pride. And um, it was the first time any of my work had, had seen me as Sarah. Wow. Um, how was that? I, I was petrified. <gasps> I'm not going to lie. Um, we, we met in a pub. I, I got changed to the disabled toilet. Um, a couple of the ladies helped me with makeup because I wasn't very good then. And um, 
and then I revealed myself to everybody else who was there. I mean, there wasn't a huge number, um, but it was still some people who I worked directly beside and other people who just worked at the company. And I got a really good reaction. So it made me feel really good and comfortable. And uh, I had a great day um, and, and it was fabulous. Yeah. Um, that's interesting when you talk about the people that you you worked alongside being there and, and you know giving you a positive reaction because I think you know we spend so much time at work don't we and you know there's been all these studies that have shown that if you're not out at work that it affects your productivity that you're more likely to you know to move on quicker and I think you know it, to have the people that that you work you know day to day with um you know giving you that that sort of quite um open support did, did that make quite a, a difference to you? It made me feel that um, there was a possibility that um, Sarah could kind of creep into the workplace. And then about four months after Pride, I, I left there to go uh -huh. work elsewhere. So that never materialised at that place. Um, and I got to my new work. And, mm -hmm. and I was like, right, is there um, an LGBT network or, or anything like that? And they're like, no, there's not. So I tried to find um, who the best person to speak to was about this. Found them, spoke to them and said, look, we're, we're, we're looking into that. But at, at the moment, it, it's not one of um, my team's priorities or the company's priorities to get a network like this set up. And, and so it was kind of like, right, okay. And between 12 and 18 months later, I got an email again. Definitely, let's <laughs> jump in, let's work out. Um, because I knew that it would it would help me as much as helping a lot of people. And yeah. I think that you, you, it's it's not just what you put in; it's what you get out of it as well. And, yeah, and definitely. So, um, for for myself, uh, I still wasn't out at that point. Um, I wasn't doing anything feminine at work, and um, but we again we done a pride, and I went and got a makeover. And um, Sir Alan having somebody doing the toilet, <laughs> I actually went somewhere, got <laughs> in the looked and felt fabulous, had a fantastic day. Um, and, and maybe a few months later, you're hearing people go, oh, he wears dresses at, at the weekend. And, and of course, you're like, oh, right, so people are talking about me, um, which isn't great because it, it takes that control away from, from you coming out yeah um, definitely I'm sure you're aware that that that's not something that that sits easily with with very many people and um, that lack of control um well yeah um, coming out can be difficult anyway and I think if, if somebody's sort of outing you before you're ready then yeah that's really really hard definitely um but but it's it's got better and, and my transition is it, not just in, in the outward but the inward um, it's baby steps. It's it's not, mm -hmm. you know, tomorrow I'm going into work as Sarah, and and everybody's shocked. I'm I'm hoping that when it finally happens, that nobody's going to be shocked because <laughs> with makeup on, they've seen me with nail polish on, and my trousers are are more feminine. Um, I'm not quite moved to the feminine t-shirts yet, um, because most of them tend to be low cut and I don't have the body shape to fill that off. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 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 a small small steps and you know inward and outward transition happening. Maybe not quite in step, but they're they're getting there. Uh -huh. um, the, the support that I get from the network's really good and, and also the, the support that I get from from the WOW network is is immeasurable. It's amazing. So can I ask you a question about the WOW yeah. network? Yeah, of course. What what made you decide to to start up this fabulous network? <laughs> well, first of all, I'm glad you think it's fabulous. <laughs> um, so, well, it kind of happened quite organically, really. Um, a work colleague of mine, um, who I wasn't particularly close to, um, uh, sort of pulled me over to to have a chat and kind of explained that you know she'd always had. Um, you know, conversations about her love life with um, her friends at work um, and that she was in a new relationship and she didn't know how to start talking to them about this relationship. Um, and then she revealed that it was with a woman. Um, and so I think at that point, I gave a sort of 
a squeak of excitement, <laughs> quite involuntarily. Um, and, you know, I said, well, you know, there must be kind of some support out there. Um, you know, let's see what we can track down and, and see what's there for you. Um, youth groups wouldn't work. Um, I mean, they're not work orientated and, um, you know, she had grown up children and, and so, you know, not, not appropriate for her. So I had a look and I really couldn't find any resources specifically for women um, coming out in the workplace, you know, the sort of generic ones, but nothing specific for women. Um, one thing I did find was um, some uh, research from 2016 uh, where they had done a survey of uh, lesbian um, bi women and 64% of those respondents uh, were too scared to come out at work which is terrible um, and you know for, for men it was about 18% so a huge sort of disparity there and you know I, I found that really quite shocking and quite worrying um, so I thought, gosh, you know, something has to be done. And that's really how the network was set up. And, and we specifically wanted to make sure that there was um, like good online resources. And um, so it's quite digital, um, you know, that there was uh, ways for members to connect. And um, so we, you know, obviously we normally do that at Pride, but, you know, <laughs> we're doing that more and more digitally um, and so on and so forth. So I think for me, one of the aims when I was, you know sort of stepping up and, and getting things moving is, is sort of thinking about what I would have liked um you know all those years ago when I was first coming out at work um and so that's where we've tried to to base our resources around you know what people want and, and need and what will help them on their journeys um for coming out at work really um, yeah. and I think you know it's difficult because as you said we're all at different stages and, and we all you know come out in different ways and you know I come out in a different way from from you and you know most people at my work team are straight and you know even then you know sometimes it's you don't want to shoehorn it into a conversation but I want to be able to speak freely about my wife and my children and um, so you know I don't hide it um, but it, it's just an, an, you know, a completely different experience again. But there's, there's always parallels, isn't it? We're all coming out. Yeah. I mean, I, I know just when you're talking about support there and, and crowds, I, I know one of the things that I really enjoy about being part of the network is, is the support that I get from the network, but also um, volunteering for you guys and, and getting to um, a few prides. Uh, we've been to some trans prides. Um, it's a shame that get cancelled this year. Um, but I've also been to Sparkle down in Manchester uh, and it was really good getting to meet um, people who were, oh yeah, I'm a member of the network already. I'm like, all right. And, and so getting to meet, and I know that when, when you're there, I know your face lights up anytime. You oh, meet. it's so nice to meet members. It's just amazing. And just to catch up with members that you've maybe not seen, you know, yeah. for, for a while as well. It's amazing just to hear how they're getting on and, uh, you know, seeing how they are. They're, they're doing at work and of course some of our members are out at work some are not out the ones who are out sometimes you know want support or they're mentoring other people um, within the network and you know you, you might want to be out and, and you're kind of needing those steps to the, be supported through but it's nice that everyone's at different stages and we can all sort of support each other and I think that's important you know because you, you see the name and you women out at work and, and people assume that it's only for people who are who are out but you're right there. The, the, the great thing is it's a support network because you've got people who have already done that, if you wish. They've, they've come out of the network and, and they're able to support people who are either not out at all or who are like me, who are, who are still kind of finding their way. Yeah, I'm wearing makeup to work, but I don't wear a dress yet. And I haven't confided in everybody at work. Yeah. The way I would rather be called Sarah. That day will come, hopefully. I don't know oh, when. They'll come. Absolutely. But it, it's something that having the support of the network is, is really important to me. Yeah. And I think it's it's quite good when we look at sort of smaller organisations that don't have staff networks as well, or, or even just organisations that, that, you know, haven't haven't got a network for whatever reason. I think the fact that hopefully the fact that, that we're here, um, you know, sort of independent of, independent of that means that you know all women can can get the support that they need you know whatever part of their, their coming out journey at, at work is wherever they are on that yeah I, I definitely agree with that it, it's it's really it it gives me so much strength 
um, if I'm honest, about being able to be the true me. Um, and and it's it's getting there. I, I definitely I know what will happen. Yeah, no, that's lovely to hear. Thank you, Sarah. So thank you everyone for joining us. Um, we are going to be having a live Q&A through our Twitter. Our Twitter um, handle is at the WOW Network. And you can also have a look on our website, which is thewownetwork.co.uk. So um, thanks very much. Bye now. Thank you very much. Bye now.